Hi, my name is Dave. I work at Mr. Cheapo. It's a store that sells music and movies, both new and used. Oh, this is my kind of place. Hello. I feel right at home here. I know Excellent. I might not look it, but I feel like right <laughs> no, at home Everyone here. looks at home here. She said, whenever I do a reading, I record it. And she pulled out of her giant purse, she pulled out an old-fashioned cassette recorder. Well, people give me a hard time about being retro all the time, but it really isn't that hard to find blank cassette tapes. Oh, my God. Good. What kind of She's old school just, just like I am. Minutes. Although she probably can't do a great Sammy Davis Jr. impression like I can, but... Chickum, chickum, and I mean that cat. Oh, yeah. Dave, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm a medium. Oh. I talk to people that have crossed over. Oh, OK. Do you always write something for people after they pass on? I gave a speech at my mother's funeral. Perfect. She wants to thank you for that. Wow. She wants to thank you for the amazing and beautiful tribute that you gave her. That's heavy. I was always close with my mother, and she's the one that turned me on to music. She played the piano, and she loved music, and I inherited her love for music. So I feel I'm where I want to be, with music. Helping people, dealing with people every day, and just bringing the music to the people, as I say. Did you just go to a concert? Last week. Oh, perfect, because she just, oh, tell them the concert was great. She goes, it's really not my kind of music, Teresa. No, She wasn't. says, but I spent time with my son. <laughs> I've had people say that, oh, she just knew that uh, an older person wouldn't like a younger person's music. My mother did like a lot of the same music that I do, the Beatles, Electric Light Orchestra, et cetera, et cetera. So we shared taste in music. They had to stop filming for a moment to change the battery and the camera or change the film. And we were in the back of the store. She saw a record and she just uh, started singing. 20, 20, 24 hours to go, I want to be sedated. She started singing the Ramones. She saw a Joey Ramone album there. And I said, why are you singing that? And she said, the Ramones, I love the Ramones. I said, I used to play Joey Ramone in a Ramones tribute band. I mean, I just don't walk around bursting out songs from the Ramones. And that wasn't me, that was David's mom. How, how could she know all these things? There's definitely something special about her. She made me feel like that you were always there for her and your father. She went like this to me. That's my symbol for there was a close bond or the person still lived with each other. Oh, I live with my father now. So what is your mother's way of acknowledging, thanking you for the way that you've been looking after dad? It's very intense. He took care of me for so long, so now I'm taking care of him. It just came naturally that I had to move out of my old apartment and he needed help, so I moved in to help him. And it's almost like the roles are reversed. It's sort of like I'm the father and he's the son sometimes. She says you did more than enough to help him out. She does not want you to feel guilty, however you want to interpret it, about putting yourself first, your needs first. Do you understand that? Yes. When, when the show aired and I watched it with my father, he was very emotional. It was a, it was a very intense experience. And since I met Teresa, I have gotten my health insurance back. I'm going to see doctors and I'm taking care of myself besides taking care of my father. She says you exceeded every and any expectation that I ever would have had of you as a son. It's amazing to hear. And she says, I wish I was just able to tell you that. I think she just did, thank you. What I do as a medium is so much more than just speaking to dead people. Let's use David as an example of how amazing it was, like not only to hear from his mom that she knew of all these amazing things that he was doing for his dad here in the physical world, but then giving him the message of encouragement to continue to embrace life the way that he needs to, or more importantly, deserves to. A lot of people, customers and people who've seen the show, they ask how my father is and they say I'm doing a good thing, but I don't really think about it that way. I think that it's what I should be doing. Where's your boss? I'm gonna have to tell him that you need a raise. It took a little while, but I did get my raise. So thank you, Mr. Chipa. And thank you, Teresa, of course, for helping me get that raise. <laughs>